So real quick, I'm going to cover the Aquara light switches. Uh, they have two versions. One is the fire wire and the other one is the zero line. And we're going to see what the difference is. So they come in two different box sizes. Both of them are the same. Haven't found any difference so far. Uh, just the box is different. Uh, inside you'll find the instruction manuals, which are in Chinese. Um, some ways to attach the light. And of course the light itself. So the difference between fire wire and zero line is the additional port of neutral. So here you can see fire wire has live in and then live out, which you can see here. There is the L and then the L1. Only one wire that you switch, whereas a zero line has three. It is neutral, live in, live out. Let's see how this works. The two side by side. See the difference? So as I said, fire wire is live and live out. And then neutral, oh sorry, a uh, zero line is neutral, live in, and then live out. So what's the what's the big deal between the two of these and how are they work in which different situations so here we have connected a line zero so if i switch it on oh it's unplugged sorry plug it back in there we go if i switch it on or off works like any other switch you can do the same with the app what happens here is that two wires from the power supply circuit go inside, both of them, both the live and the neutral to power up the circuit, right? And then they go out to, to the light as well. So that's how this one works. And with this neutral li uh, wire, what it does, it can calculate how much electricity passes through the wires. It cannot do that without the neutral wire. So in the app, and you'll see in just one second, you have one advantage of adding this neutral wire to it. So I'm going to disassemble, let's connect this, and then connect the other switch to it. So this is how that one works. And then if we take the fire wire. What we need to do is we need to take the blue wire and we need to connect it together. It doesn't matter how you connect together, as long as it's not going there, it's fine. So you have one now, one continuous wire from the power supply to the light, and the other two, this one, if you touch, it would be connecting and light would emit. So what you do is from the power, you put it into live in. Screw that in real quick. Not very good connected. There you go. And then from the light, you put it into L1. Or, as I like to say, live out. Alright. So now when we plug this back in, let's see the light goes. And then I've noticed this sometimes. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. So if you had a power cut and you were to switch on the lights, it just wouldn't work. So oops, that. As you can see, it's not always the most reliable one. There we go. Now it's working. So, um, in terms of reliability, I'm not sure if it's this one unit that I have, but it has been giving me this sort of error sometimes. And also,
Oh, it's not doing it now, but also sometimes uh, the power, there you go, it's blinking. Sometimes the power still goes through and uh, the LED lights, which, um, there, uh, which are powered by low energy, will start to uh, receive some of that energy and blink. Uh, this is the way that this switch is powered. It's receiving some energy through one switch because usually you need a plus and a minus, of course, in order for this whole thing to work. So if you're looking for just the best system to work for you, I would recommend doing it with a line zero because you get advantages in the app of seeing the power and, um, well, it's just more reliable is the second point. And then Firewire is only if you have one cable that you have to work with, then you can go with this one. It has to be 220 volts. There's uh, no ways around it. You can't use a 12 volt relay, not as far as I'm concerned. So here's the app and uh, this is the wait that's not it uh, the one that we're looking for is this one which you're seeing now um it's not connected to the gateway so it's showing that it's off i said it's connected to the gateway there you go um there's on there's off that's all that you have uh, with this one uh, you can convert the button to a wireless switch so if you you can connect it with the power but instead of giving it power you can switch off the wireless bulb and uh that's about it my one gripe with this with this whole system is that i need a pulsating button so when i press it it needs to send a piece of current in and then that's it but you can only go on and off there's no pulsating thing with that so that's what you saw here on the first button the other one i'm not going to connect it but you can see here that um underneath there's an extra a uh, little bit of information uh, the power consumption and you can actually see how much power the um, button or the lamp consumes due to the fact that it has one extra uh, port here as opposed to this one and there you can see the, the power consumption of just two watts which is that one light bulb and you can see where i switch it on and where i switch it off so yes uh, once again just to quickly summon up this whole thing is that um Unless you really need the fire wire, go with the bigger line. 